Hello! Welcome to a very exciting announcement video. So I think about two or three years ago now I, I did this project just with myself called Summer of Shulman where I read at least three books written by Sarah Shulman over a period of three months which was the summer. So June, July and August and I think the first year I managed to read four and then the second year I did it I only managed to read two and I didn't finish one of them. And I did that because you know like I wanted to read more Sarah Shulman and like she has like a bunch of back catalogue and I was also inspired by one of my spouses who wrote a dissertation on one of Sarah Shulman's books and so like that also kind of what snowballed it and so this year I thought I would do another kind of summer reading challenge for myself but quite a low-key one and uh, you know like actually announce it beforehand and invite other people to participate should they so wish so this year is another author that has S in their name <laughs> So the next three months are going to be a time to read books written by Sylvia Townsend Warner who was a novelist, she was like a gay communist, so she produced quite a lot of work and if you've been here f for any amount of time you'll know that I read one of her books last year called Lolly Willows which I really just loved a lot and I've always had my eye on her because she seems interesting but then I've never sort of got around to like actually prioritising reading a bunch of her work and then it would be useful for me to read her work because of various stuff in terms of research and so yeah I just thought I would like try and read like a chunk of her work as a fun project and also like I've wanted to do it for a while and then I also thought I would invite anybody who wants to participate to participate. So the one book that I definitely am going to 100% read and which I thought could be like the crossover book for everybody is Summer Wool Show and this was published in 1936. It's a historical fiction novel. I will leave you to read the blurbs because I don't want to read a blurb because I'm worried that the blurb will spoil a lot of the stuff but I've heard it's really entertaining and also like queer. I do have a copy of that on its way to me but I just was tired of waiting for it to show up and yeah. So I guess like the challenge is like one part reading one Sylvia Townsend Warner book per month of the summer or just reading Summer Will Show or any kind of variation of those I guess depending on what you'd like to do. In terms of the other books that I'm going to read I've decided that I am going to read these in the order that they were published because I started with Lolly Willows which is her first novel from 1926 and I just thought I would keep going that way because I kind of like that and then that way I get to finish with Summer Will Show in August. The book I'm going to read for June which is this month is Mr Fortune's Maggot which I think was published in 1927 and I got these like lovely penguin modern editions with these like gorgeous covers and then the next one is The True Heart and then yeah finally I will finish with Summer Will Show. So if I can read more than these three that would be great because like I like I said like it would be good for me to just read like pretty much all of her work. I don't have any other of her work although the other thing is I might reread Lolly Willows and I feel like if you are interested in participating in this Lolly Willows will probably also be quite like a likely to be read book because yeah it's like her most famous one. So yeah that's also a potential op option for me. I've actually lent out my copy though so we'll see when I get that back but that's fine. Depending on how I feel I'll either do like a wrap up at the end of the three months and talk about all the books I read and or I will make you know like singular review videos as I go along that we can like discuss the books in but obviously it's sort of like I'm gonna do this project even if nobody else joins in because it's like useful for me and it's fun and now I have like a fun name for it like I may as well but yeah you are welcome to join in you can use the hashtag summer with Sylvia I'll like put that on the screen so it's obvious and like I'm also gonna post on Instagram about it yeah Definitely let me know if you'd be interested in participating. I mean, I feel like not that many people are going to join in and that's fine. This is quite niche, but yeah, I just thought I would like open it up to you anyway because it could be fun and you could find a really great author that you love through joining in. I think that's everything I wanted to say. Y you don't have to read the specific books that I've chosen for each month. You can read whatever and then like the sort of group book is Summer Will Show. But obviously you could participate and not read that too. Like that's obviously fine too. Great. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!